I was his. It was right what I did. My ups and downs, my slips, my falls, my trials and tribulations, my heart, my balls. This won't be the end of me. Or you. It can't be, because we're a team. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ty, and we are here with a movie review. Today, we'll be reviewing Creed 2. Amazing movie, by the way. This movie is directed by Stephen Cappell Jr. So we have Sylvester Stallone, Tessa Thompson, and of course, Michael B. Jordan. Amazing actor. Everybody knows him as Killmonger from Black Panther. All right, so in Creed 2, to start off the movie, Creed's already in the boxing room with Danny the stunt man Wheeler, who has the heavyweight world title. So this is what Creed is fighting for. So it's a hard fought match and they're going back and forth and then boom, Creed drops him for the win. Amazing scene. So after the fight for the world heavyweight championship and when Adonis wins, an interview comes on. Ivan Drago and his son, Victor Drago from Russia challenging Adonis for the heavyweight world title. And many of you may know, Ivan Drago is the man who killed Adonis Creed's father, Apollo, in the ring. And surprisingly, guess who the ref was? It was Rocky, Sylvester Stallone, crazy. Everybody thought Rocky and Apollo was friends after their fight in the ring in Rocky VI amazing movie you should check it out so there's a lot of built up emotion from this fight and i'm not surprised because donis wants revenge for his father but everybody's telling him he shouldn't take this fight because victor has nothing to lose he is in a low income area in russia rocky describes it victor is dangerous and Adonis isn't trying to hear it. He wants revenge now. So after Adonis tells Rocky he's taking a fight, Rocky tells him, I'm not going to be in your corner this time. And Adonis was hurt. Adonis spilled out all his emotions to Rocky. As if you know in from Creed 1, Rocky has cancer. And Adonis basically expressed his emotions on how he took care of Rocky and how he, Rocky's leaving him hanging out when he needs him the most. So what Adonis does it goes to Danny Stuntman Wheeler's trainer and ask him to train him. If if you didn't know, Danny's trainer is the son of Apollo's Creed's trainer. Crazy. So Adonis will be training with the son of the man who trained his father. So they're training for this fight. And there's so much built up emotion in the way in Creed gets into it with Victor and Ivan. So, it's fight day, guys. And you can just see the intensity in the film. All the built-up emotion. It's crazy. And as the fight goes on, you can tell Adonis lets his emotions get the best of him. Because everything he trained for Victor to hit at him went out the window. Adonis basically goes his own route. And it did not go well for him. Adonis gets dropped three different times. And the last one was brutal. But Victor got disqualified for hitting. But Victor gets disqualified for hitting Adonis while down. So Adonis gets to keep the championship. But Adonis also goes to the hospital with a punctured lung and three broken ribs and a mild concussion. So Victor put a number on him, which wasn't good for a lot of people, especially Adonis. After Adonis gets out the hospital, he basically shuts everybody out in life, even his mother and wife. Crazy. But Rocky wants to apologize, and Adonis isn't trying to hear it because of how Rocky left him hanging. But after a while, Adonis decides to forgive Rocky. And knowing Rocky, Rocky's a forgiving guy. 
after Adonis forgives Rocky for leaving him hanging, a video surfaced of Victor Drago in his last fight after Adonis. Victor basically states, Creed's no champ. We all know who the real champ is. After being disqualified, Creed didn't take that too lightly. So, Rocky decides to train him for this fight. But the training Rocky put Adonis through almost broke him. When I mean broke him, he took him out to the desert where boxers want to become who they are again. Which, in my perspective, is a great idea because that just shows how determined you are to get back in that ring and prove who you are. So, facts about this fight that's happening again. It's happening in Russia, where Ivan and Victor's from. So, Creed already comes in as a 10-point underdog, let alone fighting in Russia, where he's already disliked because he's the heavyweight champ, and they all think Victor should have it. So, after Adonis gets to the ring, the emotions, intensity is back in the ring with these guys. When I mean they're looking eye to eye with so much hatred, it's ridiculous. So, but this time, Rocky's there to back Adonis up and coach him while there so Adonis doesn't repeat what happened the first time. Which, in my opinion, is a great idea by Rocky to show he still believes in him and he doesn't want his theater to repeat itself. Because Adonis is like a son to him, especially after what happened to Apollo. Basically, Rocky took Adonis under his wing. So as these rounds go on, you know, these guys are beating the heck out of each other, man. When I mean beating the heck out of each other, you can see blood everywhere. You can see scars, bruise it. It's crazy. But the time has come. Adonis gets knocked down for the first time. Wow. Victor actually hit him with a real hard punch. But Adonis doesn't give up. While he's down, he remembers why he's fighting and who's here to watch him. Not only his wife is at this fight, his mother is also here to cheer him on. While getting up, he can hear Rocky saying, remember why you were fighting. And with all that motivation, Adonis finds the energy to get up. And in his eyes, you can see he's motivated. And he has all the determination to win this fight. So he charges at Victor, hitting him with a left and a right. Like he's putting everything behind these punches. It's crazy. While you're looking in Victor's corner, you can see Ivan see history repeating itself. And that's the last thing he wants is for his son to die in the ring like Apollo did years ago. So what does he do? He throws in the towel to save his son's life. After throwing in the towel, he hugs his son to let him know that he's here for him and how proud he is. And for Adonis, he breaks down crying because he put everything he has into this fight to bring home the belt back to USA. Amazing, guys. Like, this man put everything in the fight. While his wife and mother is there, look at this movie is outstanding. In my eyes, I give it a 4.5 out of 5. Only reason... I don't give it a five out of five is because some scenes could have been cut out the movie, in my opinion. Like, for example, the scene where Ivan and Victor's at dinner in Russia. We could have cut that whole scene and been fine with it. I understand you guys want a little backstory, but in my eyes, we could have cut that. And we could have seen more training videos, even more determination of these guys in the weight room or even in the gym. But yeah, guys, that's the movie review on Creed 2. Come back next time when we review another movie. Ty is out. Yeah,